We see a VR set up and we've got to go and have a look. This time we were fortunate enough to get on Unseen Diplomacy before the queue of about 50 people started. The whole experience was originally designed in just a month for the Game City 2015 and because of its popularity it was released on Steam. This game is known for using the absolute maximum space the Vive can handle. In fact you're going to need a 3 meter by 4 meter room to be able to play this, nothing less. One of the key features of the game is the use of redirected walking or redirected space. What this makes you feel like is you're covering a huge distance when in fact you're actually moving around within that same space. The Vive controllers are as good as they always are. People who have never used this technology within a minute are picking things up, are manipulating objects within their environment. It's also one of the only Vive experiences I've used so far that has removed the grid matrix. It's been planned out so well that you're not going to get too close to the walls that it has to interrupt the experience that you're having. The best way to get people involved in VR is getting them to have a go and this is honestly one of the best ways. It's one of the top experiences for getting people crawling around on the floor and falling over. People really do lose their inhibitions when playing this. Because of the size constraints, this game is not going to be available to everyone who owns a Vive. However, if you do see it at any show or get the opportunity to have a go, I very much, very much suggest it.